Hey everybody, Jake here from Client Time Photography, and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are all doing swell. Awesome. I'm trying to use new words, so I'm trying to change things up a little bit, make it more interesting. Stay tuned with me on that. Uh, this is coffee in here. It does have a tea thing, but that's just purely coincidence. Alrighty, so medical stuff. Let's talk medical. Um, probably some of the most important stuff that we could literally talk about. Um, as you guys all are well aware, overlanding can be, you know, very dangerous. You know, we are basically taking our vehicles, you know, whether we're driving vans, trucks, SUVs, bikes, whatever, and we're just going out in the middle of nowhere. So it's important to be prepared for anything and everything. You know, we look at our equipment, preparing for all that stuff. You know, we try and think of every possible scenario and try and run through them and figure out what we're going to do. Medical is no different. Um, it's definitely very important. And just so happens that we have teamed up with a awesome company. I give you Self-Reliance Medical. So these guys are really, really, really cool. Um, and I'll tell you why. So when I look at anything when i look at like think about doing electrical i talk to a person that does electrical work when i need stuff or help on welding i talk to someone who's a welder when it comes to stuff that's medical um that raises the bar like way up here you know i want to talk to someone who i know they know what they're talking about and these guys over at self-reliance medical they know their stuff because they are trained firefighters they are firefighter paramedic captains they are literally living, breathing this stuff, okay? And that is really important. You know, you get, I, I don't want to say you get a lot of other people out there that, um, uh, companies that they, they, I don't want to say they don't know what they're talking about, but anybody can put a bunch of stuff together and call it a medical kit. Not a whole lot of people, um, put that stuff together and really understand it and how to use it. And that I think is really crucial when you're looking at a company that you're planning on buying medical supplies from is, do you have um, the resources? Does that company have the resources? Do they understand how the equipment works? And I know for a fact these guys do because this is literally their job. This is what they do. Um, so what they did was they actually sent me over this. This is their uh, IFAC Pro R60 Pelican case. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to go through this. Uh, thank you so much at Self-Reliance Medical for sending me this. This is really awesome. Super stoked to check it out. And then we're going to talk about some of the other stuff that I've been carrying as just an overliner. And we're going to kind of compare the two and talk about some medical stuff. So with that being said, let's get to it. All right. So let's check this out. So we got their case right here. Pelican case. These are actually really, really good cases. And then, of course, we got their logo right here, Self-Reliance Medical. So let's check this thing out, see what we got. Nice, look at that. So after talking to these guys and kind of like trying to get an idea of what they use these cases for and how they build them, they really focus on putting stuff in here that is life-saving stuff, life-saving equipment. So glow stick, definitely really important to have. Um, traction turn or cat tourniquet. Uh, these are obviously really, really important, 100%. Let's see, what else we got in here? Uh, high, hyphen vent, chest seal twin pack. Let's check that out. Chest seal twin, twin pack, entry and exit wound. So I believe these are used for um, uh, like gunshot wounds and like any penetrating trauma to your chest and stuff like that. Obviously, chest seal, twin pack. So it's, a, I believe, a three-sided bandage. But, so here's the cool thing, is Self-Reliance Medical, they literally have all the information for resources and stuff like that on their site. So if you're not really sure about something as far as, like, how it's supposed to be used and stuff like that, because something like this is very specialty. Like, you have to know the indications for using something like this. Same thing for, aha, this. I believe this is a decompression needle. 
this is something else that you need to know how to use. And if you don't know how to use it properly, you can actually end up hurting somebody really bad with these. Alrighty, so other stuff. Trauma shears. Yep, definitely very important to have. These are uh, really crucial for uh, bandaging and everything like that, cutting clothes. These have a lot of uses. Uh, this, I believe, is a... Yeah, nasal pharyngeal airway. Yep. So these are really important for securing an airway on a patient. NAR responder, compressed gauze. Interesting. We have to check that out. Quick clot, combat gauze. That's another stuff that you really don't see this actually in a lot of uh, kits that are um, like true, like first aid and like um, critical like medical kits. So something actually I also want to notice here, you notice how most of this stuff is, if you know anything about the medical field, is trauma related. So when we're overlanding, the most the most possible scenario or the what's most likely going to happen as far as us is vehicle rollovers, um, you know, somebody getting hurt when they were um, winching, uh, jacking up stuff like that, you know, maybe they didn't jack something correctly. A lot of the stuff where we can possibly get hurt is really trauma based. And that's where I think these guys really just nailed it on the wall with this kit. Everything in here is primarily trauma based. And that is really, really cool. Emergency survival wrap. Okay. So that makes sense. So definitely a really thought out and put together kit. So after looking at their kit, I kind of feel like I'm a little out of my league here because I'm just carrying like just some really basic stuff. Um, so I did have some tourniquets. I did, I, I did carry a couple of those. I carry some uh, some 4x4s, uh, a couple of uh, large uh, abdominal pads, you know, stuff like that. Uh, trauma stuff primarily, which makes sense. Uh, some other stuff I carry. Um, this is a... Uh, Cold pack, so you pop these and they get cold really, really quickly. These are really good to have for any of your heat, heat-related illnesses and stuff like that. Um, this is probably overkill, but I actually carry this a stethoscope, a pole socks, and blood pressure cuff, and all that. Um, let's see, what's some other stuff I carry here? Uh, a thermometer. Uh, carry. Uh, I believe this is a face mask in case I ever have to do CPR on somebody. You know, this is stuff that's, again, it could be kind of overkill, but, you know, it's always good stuff to have. I used to carry a lot more, but since then I've kind of um, sourced it down a little bit and kind of just combined my kit and stuff like that. So that is a really other cool thing that's really awesome about the guys over here at Self-Reliance Medical is that if... Let's say, for example, you already have like a kit together. Like I kind of have a kit a little bit together already. You can figure out other stuff that you don't need. Like maybe you just need a, a cat turn kit. That was something you didn't think about. You need to um, throw one of those in your kit. Um, you can just order individual items off of their, uh, their website. Uh, some gloves and then some tapes and stuff like that. Some moleskin, that's really good for blisters. Uh, neosporin, triangular bands, all that good stuff. Trash bags uh, for cleaning up your mess afterwards. If you got any bloody bandages all over the place. Uh, so you're really, really allergic to poison ivy, or poison oak, or any of that type of stuff. This is some good stuff to carry. I'm not, but I always carry this stuff. Some... Uh, Something we're all probably very familiar with now, some type of uh, sanitizer. <laughs> and then some isopropanol alcohol. So up until recently, I carried very basic stuff. You know, with the stuff from uh, Self-Reliance Medical, we're going to take our kit and we're really going to just advance it quite a bit. And it's super nice to be able to have this extra stuff. Now that we have talked about Self-Reliance Medical Kit and we've compared it to my medical kit, let's do like what we were saying we we're going to do. Let's put it all together, right? So we have a couple different options, cases, storage, right? So we have our hard case option. Hard cases work really good. You know, your Pelican cases, Apache cases, 
Uh, you can basically mount your first aid kit, medical kit outside your vehicle. You don't have to worry about it getting wet or anything like that. Works great. The only problem I've noticed with uh, the medical kits, and this was a scenario I was running through the other day, was potentially if you have to carry your kit for a long period of time, let's, let's say you're having difficulty getting access to the person you need to help, so you might have to carry that for a while. So that's where I kind of switched over to a more of a backpack style kit. These are uh, tactical backpacks. You can get them at Rancho Army Navy Store. And I'm just going to give you a quick little run through of what this is, kind of how this is set up. So right up top here, we have our, uh, our uh, cat tourniquet. We have our trauma shears. Quick access. We really want to be able to get to our tourniquets. Those are some life-saving um, items, and we want to be able to put them on quickly. We have our uh, all of our good little first aid medical stuff, so Zyrtec, ibuprofen, all that stuff you might use, moleskin padding, all that stuff you might use pretty commonly, right? Right here up top, easy to get to. We have all of our gloves right here, and just in case we need to get more gloves, we want those right, easily accessible and up top, and with our along with our uh, sanitizer. Second stage is all of our patient um, evaluation stuff. So BP cuffs, stethoscope, uh, pocket mask, thermometer, all that good stuff is right in here. Now let's say we're going to go to the next step. We really need to help this person out. We really need to do a lot of work. So we're just going to open this up just like it is just right now. So we have access to everything here. We have our cold packs, another tourniquet, another tourniquet, all of our um, bandaging, surgical pads, um, dressings, we can access everything right here. It's quick, rapid access. I really enjoy this kit and the way we set it up. Another cool thing you can add to is a reflective vest just in case you're working near any roadways or anything like that. And then the greatest thing about having this all together just like this is you can throw it on your back, go walk, and then if you need to walk in for a half mile, mile, you can do that really easily. Now, now let's say you do, like you're saying, hiking, backpacking, and you don't want to obviously carry something as big as this. So the next thing that you can do is you just pick up one of these Lifeline medical kits over at Walmart and then just kind of make it your own. You know, they start off actually pretty good with these little kits. They offer you a lot. You know, you can add in a tourniquet. I honestly think any every single medical kit should have one of these. Hikers, same exact thing. In case you you know, fall, rock slide, you break your leg, anything like that, any large opening wounds on or anything, you have a tourniquet you're ready to use. You know, uh, trauma shears, some bandaging, all that good stuff, and that way it's just nice, easy, portable, and it's good to go. It doesn't weigh a lot, but it keeps you prepared, and that's the biggest thing that we want. And then another cool little addition, hikers, you all know, one of the biggest things that you come across is probably heat illness injuries, so... Keep a couple cold packs. It's always good to have. Now, the last element, and this is probably by far the most critical of this entire video, location and identification. So what do I mean by location? Location is make sure your kit is in an area that you can get to it and then get out really quickly. So you don't have to dig out a whole bunch of stuff to get to your medical kit. I keep mine right on top of my fridge. I open up my driver's side. I grab my kit and I'm off. I don't have to dig out a bunch of tools and equipment. You want this stuff to be rapid access and easy to get to. Uh, another thing that some people are doing that's kind of a newer trend is they put medical stickers on the outside of their vehicle. So that way people know, hey, look at the medical sticker. That's where my kit is. And moving forward into another concept is we're talking about our rigs, right? Run scenarios with your, um, your group. You know, hey, if this person breaks their leg, what are we going to do? Who's got the medical stuff? Who's got, it's just like anything else. You know, who's got food? Who's got water? Who's got fuel? All that stuff is critical. Same exact thing is just like this. Like, hey, who's got the medical stuff? Where are we going to meet? How are we going to do this? You know, make a plan. The best plan to have is a plan. The worst kind of plan is no plan at all, right? So do those scenarios. Uh, do training. These guys over at Self-Reliance Medical, they offer courses. They offer courses, and I highly suggest that you guys take some. The more exposure you get to this stuff, the better off you are going to be as a person that's going to be able to mitigate the situation. 
um, because it's not going to happen in the opportune time. It's going to be you're going to be tired because you've been driving. It's going to be dark. You're going to have a lot of factors working against you. So give yourself the time now to prepare for these situations. Uh, with that being said, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, all the videos we've been putting together, especially this one. This is probably one of my most favorite talk topics to talk about. It's super important, but all the more reason why we want to talk about it, right? If Again, as always, if you guys ever have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Go check out Self-Reliance Medical. Check out their website. Order some good gear, and let's get you prepared. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.